everybody welcome back to my youtube channel i am precious i'm south african and i live in japan the reason why i live in japan is because i applied through the jet program so if you're new thank you so much for coming back i hope that you subscribed please subscribe and please like the video because today is going to be really really special so it's like the first time ever i'm doing a collaboration with somebody and i'm so excited i think it's gonna be fun right so if this video is successful and if you guys really like it as well then i will um reach out to more people who are south africans but are living abroad and i'll just have like a conversation with them right so that's what i'm doing today i am going to be talking with leti girl if i'm pronouncing your name incorrectly please like revoke my south african card okay so leti is south african and she's in south korea right now so basically i have made um a list of questions here for leti to answer right um and so i will ask her a few questions and then because we're in different countries we're in different like you know like continents basically okay so without further ado let me just ask a few questions to leti okay so question number one hi leti uh thank you so much for your time thank you so much for um reading my dms guys like I shot my shot right it was like shooting a shot and then slam dunk because it landed and then lady was like yes girl let's go so thank you so much for your kindness thank you so much for your um for being nice to me you know and for answering my dms anyway so let's see first questions please introduce yourself who you are where you're from and where you currently live and how you got there Hello everybody, my name is Letty Maps and so excited to be here. I have a YouTube channel, it's called Letty Maps the World. When I received a DM from Precious asking me to do a collaboration with her, I was so excited because I looked over her YouTube channel and it resonated with me. So it was really easy for me to say, yes, let's do this. I am from South Africa. Um, I'm from Northwest in South Africa, so Kimotswana, one Northwest. I'm currently in South Korea in the Jeollanam-do province, which is the southernmost province of Korea. So yeah, and I came here with the EPIC program to teach English. Question two. Um, so you are in South Korea because of the EPIC program. So please briefly explain what the EPIC program stands for and basically what it is. Is it similar to JET program or um, or what? So EPIC stands for English in, program. In Korea. I actually applied and got into the JET program, but I did not go because of the COVID situation. So all EPIC teachers teach at public schools. So you could either be placed at an elementary, middle, or high school or you could also be placed at an english center which works a little bit differently from a normal school and um i would say that the main difference between epic and jet is that epic only recruits from six countries so epic only recruits teachers from south africa the uk the usa canada new zealand and australia okay question three please tell us where in south korea do you work are you in the city are you in the countryside are you in the bundus or is it like in the middle um how far are you from like the capital city seoul because I, I feel like many people know seoul and busan so like how far are you from those places so as i've mentioned before i am placed in the jilonamda province which is the southernmost province of south korea and it is also the least developed province of south korea i know it sounds bad when i say it but i promise you for a province that is considered to be least developed it is so developed it is a beautiful province and I am not placed in the city. I am placed in a small town. So I would not say that I'm placed in the Bundus because I have had friends who are placed in the Bundus and they come here and they're like, wow, I wish I was placed here. I am placed in a very small town. My town is so small that sometimes when I walk into the elevator, I hear, oh, hello, teacher. And I'm just like, oh, snap. Hi, <laughs> how you doing? Yes, so there are some students who are in my building. Mm -hmm. That's how small my town is. And I am about an hour away from Gwangju, which is the metropolitan city in my province. 
And when it comes to Busan and Seoul, I am so far away. I am five hours away from Busan and five hours away from Seoul. Yeah, I have actually never been to Busan and Seoul. Okay, Seoul, I was there for quarantine, but that doesn't count. Quarantine doesn't count. So you know what? I have never been to Seoul, but I'm planning on going to Busan sometime really soon. Okay, question four or next question. I'm not sure if I should number these questions. But anyway, um, what are the basic requirements to apply for the EPIC program? So like, what are the basic requirements? Because the basic requirements for JET program are that you have a degree, right? And you don't have a criminal record. So like for EPIC program, what's the basic requirements for that? So we also have the same requirements for EPIC, but when i applied for jet i felt like my application process for jet was much easier than for epic epic requires a lot of documents okay so you have to have your degree and you also have to have a clean criminal record but then with your degree and your police clearance certificate you have to apostle them so when I applied for JET, I didn't have to do any of those. But when I applied for EPIC, I had to take my certificate and take it to the South African Qualification Authority or SACA and have it verified because they want to see that you have the degree that you say you have because that certificate is not enough. And I also had to take my police clearance certificate to Derico. meant is that you must have two hand-signed letters of recommendations and you must also if you're from south africa and canada you must also produce a letter of english proofing so they want to make sure that you went to an english medium school from grade seven and this is because there are 11 official languages in south africa so because of that there are a lot of schools that teach students in different languages so they only accept south africans who went to who were taught in English. They want to make sure that the language of instruction at your school was English. Okay, next question. Um, For the EPIC program, do you need a TEFL or TESOL certificate? Like, um, does it make you a much better candidate? Does it kind of like up, like up your said, chances a not or what? A lot of That's why my JED application process was a breeze. And in the EPIC application form, you must also write three essays. That's what I did. I don't know if the, if that's still the same because I did my application back in 2019. But in 2019, yeah, you had to write three essays. So the first question on the essay was, why do you want to teach English and why do you want to teach it in Korea? So you must answer that question. And the second one was, how do you handle cultural differences? And the last question was, what is your teaching? philosophy yep so you have to answer that and you must also write a lesson plan so you must choose a level so you can either write a lesson plan for elementary which most of us do or for middle school or high school and you must write a lesson plan that is so detailed and so thorough that should you give it to someone they'll be able to teach your lesson for you um yes for the EPIC program, a TEFL certificate is a must. If you don't have it, you will not get into the program. And okay, next question. What benefits does the EPIC program give to um, the applicants? Because the JET program only gives us like the national health insurance. I think that's the only benefit. But what are the benefits to the EPIC Sis, program? If the only benefit that you get that you're getting from jet is the health insurance then i have made the right decision i made the right decision to go with epic because <laughs> month contract so you know that for a whole year you have job security so i feel like that's the first and the most important benefit and we also get a travel allowance okay and so i know that a lot of people who are in jet they know the saying every situation is different so it's the same with the epic program so you could get your travel allowance like the first week you get to korea after setting up your bank account and everything or you could get it with your first man's salary so you get a travel allowance of 1.3 
million won. I have no idea how much that is right now. I will check it when I edit the video. And you also get a settlement allowance, which is supposed to help you to settle into the country, you, you know, to buy your pots, to buy your your like linens, your bedding and everything that you need to settle into the country. And you also get a fully furnished apartment that is paid for by your school. Yeah, we don't pay rent. We don't have a bed that is in your contract. You must have a bed, you must have a table. You... But if you are really lucky, you can move into an apartment and find that the previous teacher left you everything that's what happened with me yeah that's what happened with me if you want to check out my apartment tour it's on my channel so you can also check it out just so that you can have an idea of what an epic apartment looks like the that we get is that at the end of our um, our um, contract we get a contract completion allowance okay next question um does the EPIC program have holidays? Do you guys get paid holidays? So like, how does the system work? How how many times are you able to maybe take a holiday and cut and go home? How many days do you have? Um, like what's, what's the, what's the schedule like? Okay. So I have already spoken about the 26 days paid leave days. Yeah. 26 paid leave days that one can use to go on holidays but right now i think i'm just going to go more into details about how you can use these days in order to go on holidays all right so i was on leave not so long ago so i only took seven days off of work because schools were closed so if you are going to go on a holiday you will need your vice principal to approve of your leave days you know obviously if unless it's like an emergency you're not going to want to go on a vacation during the school years when the students need you to teach them but there are two holidays so there the winter holidays is from january until like typically the first week of march yes yeah, so okay so next question um so the epic program so after you are after you are accepted to the epic program the school allocation can you choose your own schools um or are you randomly allocated to schools like can you choose high school middle school elementary like how does that on the epic situation work form there is a section that uh, that um where you can pick which level you would like to teach so you could either pick elementary middle or high school but there's no guarantee that you're going to get your option i put elementary because i thought that teaching at elementary school would be the easiest but i was placed at a middle school so yeah you could say that i want to be i want to teach in high school but there is no guarantee that you are going to get a high school. So with the placement, what happens is that your EPIC, EPIC will send your application form to the province that you picked if they have any space. And your province, your, the, your provincial office of education will then look at your application form and if they feel like they want to hire you that's when they will accept it but if they don't accept it they will return it back to epic and then epic will then take it to other provincial office of education which is why sometimes you may not get the placement that you desired and how long is the epic program application process before you even land in um south korea like how like how, how long does it take because for the J program, it can take you like six months until you actually have to leave South Africa and land into Japan. So it's very, very long for the J program. But I'm curious to know how long the EPIC program process, to be honest, application, the process application process takes process is not that long when it when you compare it to the JET program. Because when I applied for JET, I was like, oh my god, I'm applying in October to leave next year in July. And it didn't even happen because COVID. But I feel like the epic, epic application process is about between three to six months. Yeah, like you could do that. So the longest thing regarding the epic program is gathering your documents. If you have your documents, if your documents are ready, you could literally apply for epic like today 
and then leave in two, three months. So you must make sure that you have your documents, that your documents are ready, especially your police clearance certificate, because that one takes the longest. I think it takes about eight to 10 weeks for it to come out. That's like what? Two to three months for that, for that paper to come out. So the EPIC program, its duration depends on your documents, if I'm going to be honest.